Hey, also there's a new raid league feature in the game, plus some more upgrading for your ships, skins and drones. So what I'm going to do is show you my setup for the bosses here, then do a bit of upgrading afterwards. The feature can be found by pressing the event button. So this is what my profile looks like currently, just over 3 million combat power, most of the skins obtained in the game. I have all of the wings apart from the last one. What I'm going to be using for this is Cyberblade. In a previous video I was using Legendary, but Legendary is simply not strong enough for the later stages unfortunately. But before I do anything, I want to take my Spectral Drake up to Evolve 3. It's taken me a long time to get the stones needed for this. If I just bring up one of the ships, I had a lot more stones than this before, but I basically fused them all to make nine stones. So this is the stones I currently have left. Anyway, after all that work, let's go ahead and press that evolve button. There we go, nice. And it gave a bit of EXP towards the next rank as well. Right, onto the cyber blade. What you need for this is the critical sensor expert item and then one other expert item of your choice. I have gone with deflector here, just in case I do take a hit. With a bit of luck, that will stop me from losing the cyber blade. It doesn't always work, but I think this is the best option anyway, out of what I have. Now, if we have a look at the actual feature, I'll just bring it up here. You actually have 14 attempts at this per day. You have two of the adds, two that are free, and then 10 crystal attempts. To do all 10 of the crystal attempts will cost you 55 crystals. So that gives a whopping 14 attempts in total. This is where I currently am on the league. I've been doing all my attempts each day, so I am currently top, which is always nice. Now I am going to try Electro. Normally what I do is I go back to this stage here as it's a lot easier, but I'm going to try Electro and see if I can somehow manage it. Cyber Blade and two decent drones. Let's give this a go anyway. Now Electro is quite hard, especially with the buffed up health that the boss raid mode has. So we'll see how I do. I've been learning the attacks pretty well, but doesn't mean I'll do it. There's one attack that's really fast. However, I have got a shield early on. That's always good. This attack's quite easy. The electro beam's quite easy. Over we go. Okay, that's the worst attack, so just dodge. Ah, oh, deflector took effect. Brilliant. That's always a really good result. And now I just need to dodge all of this. That's the hardest part done, taking off those arms. It loses its most dangerous attack, in my opinion. The one where it shoots the attacks really fast that you just saw. This energy beam is quite easy to dodge. Just move at the last second. Right, can I do this? Probably not. Not if I do stupid stuff like that. It's not a bad effort though. Right, we just have the main head to take care of, so to speak. 43 seconds to get 50 odd percent off. Oh no, I've messed up. Okay, so anyway, the attempt was relatively decent. With this ship, I'm not going to do it. But that gives you an idea anyway of what I am doing for the bosses. I'll see how much damage I can get on the boss before the timer runs out. Going to be around 30 odd percent, I think. I haven't taken, or should I say I haven't lost a life yet. I did take a hit with the Cyber Blade. I actually took two hits, one with the Deflector. There we go, I'm out of time anyway. I've not managed to complete that stage yet, but that's the strategy I have been using. 
Right, I'll do one more attempt as well, just to show you the crystal cost afterwards. The pilot squad I'm using here is the squad you can see here, the Supergirl squad, mainly because Cleopa has the bonus damage, plus this squad gives the extra super time. If I bring up Cleopa, you can see here an increase of 12% damage for spaceships. So I think this is the best squad for the new boss mode, but not 100% sure. There's a couple of other squads that could potentially be useful as well. Anyway, let's go back to the feature, Raid League, and here we go. This one is pretty easy, so I shouldn't have too many problems here. Right, here we go. So this should be pretty easy with a bit of luck, as long as I don't make a silly mistake. There's a couple of slightly tricky attacks, but the bombs do take out the bullets as well, so shouldn't be too difficult. The blades also take out the bullets. If I do take a hit though, it's going to be a bit of a disaster since the cyber blade will split into one of the two weaker ships. That's quite a tricky attack. That's probably the hardest attack in all fairness. Then we have this attack here, which was dealt with with the bombs. Right, we're almost there anyway. Cyberblade is approximately twice as powerful as Legendary. With Legendary, it will take the full time. With Cyberblade, it's taken slightly over a minute. I think that was one minute and two seconds. Anyway, that's been done nice and quickly. So now to the shop in the Raid League page. That's over here. Now what you want to do is renew this the maximum amount of times each day. I know that's a lot of crystals with the 10 attempts that you want to do each day that cost 55 crystals, but it's well worth doing in my opinion. You can see here the crystal cost is now two. I did another attempt as well. That will keep going up until it's 10 crystals for an attempt. Okay, so that's Bring this up, renew it, use a crystal to renew. Now those are the items you want from here as you can't really get them from anywhere else. Okay, so let's renew it again. I don't really need any of the other items. You can also see the crystal cost here is increasing. The key could be useful, but I'm not going to get that. Oh, there's a hex tech part as well. I'm not going to be able to afford that. There's also one refresh that you can do with the ad. I'll do that quickly now. Right, there we go. And I think I have one more refresh as well to use. There we go. That's the final one. One more of those weird orb items. So there we go. Now this is going to cost you a lot of crystals, obviously. So I highly recommend getting into the habit of farming mini boss mode. You are going to need 70 crystals per day for all five of the refreshes, plus all 10 attempts at the boss raid mode. So it's not going to be easy if you want to try and max all of this out. I am going to, if I bring up the page over here, have a go at promotion. So. This is what happens if you promote one of the ships. Yep, I'm going to do that. Now you need more crystals and more stones, yeah. So I have enough crystals and stones. I'm going to max this out to 40. You will need a lot of crystals for that as well. So it's not an easy feature at all. Very, very, very crystal heavy. Expect yourself to be farming mini boss mode a lot if you don't plan to spend money on the game. All oh, right, and that marks the end of this video. I hope you found that interesting and enjoyable. I am going to be farming crystals a lot from now on. It's going to cost me a lot of crystals to get all of this upgraded. It's going to be quite a fun challenge though, but very demanding. I will finish it eventually. 
My combat power has gone up quite significantly from the Evolve plus upgrading the one ship, so it is worth doing even though it's ridiculously expensive. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is always very much appreciated. Check out the video here for how I managed to get my account to where it is now. You can also subscribe from here if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.